Hi, this is Jim Pellerino. I gotta tell all of you, um, I like these guys a lot myself, but, um, sometimes these people can become just like so cool and they're just so charismatic that it seems like they take on, um, some sort of biblical Jesus kind of, uh, popularity to their audience where they they themselves uh, the information that they give you just like thoroughly goes unquestioned by um, by the people that watch the videos and I'm talking about right now well right now I'm talking about Hank Hank Green here in this video that he did today he uses this acronym like I D Tim Wit M. Some I uh, don't know. Really not onto that bandwagon, the acronym bandwagon. But uh, I guess a lot of other people think that 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 this one is cool. It's got the name Tim in it. It's got id into fraud, Freud which is the story of Gilgamesh re remade but uh Sigmund Freud's well, one of his books uh, was just a rewriting of uh, the epic of Gilgamesh but um I have a cell phone the one I have now is just this cheap shit I can't get a job because um all of you people are too abusive for uh to me for me to ever be able to get a job that's 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 the human populace out there so I'm on social security just to tell you right out front um but i there was a point in time when I did have a like a a verizon cell phone right you can I know just from personal experience I don't need a, um, a, a massive scientific amount of um, studies to know this to be true right this is damaging to the person's health there's like I don't know there um, here's what happened I had my Verizon cell phone um, all of a sudden, I started going through this vast amount of um, physical pain, autoimmune response and inflammation, arthritic pain developed, huge amount of pressure in my head, um, neuropathy, um, which I think was like a, and is, is still there, like a motherfucker, right? Uh, it's, I, I think it's my, uh, my white blood cells or my 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 immune system attacking attacking my uh my nerves right that that's an autoimmune response and arthritis is an autoimmune response and there's also just this thing that i refer to as god knows and uh, it was just so painful right and it uh I don't know, I, I was just going through this, just thinking about something, and I was like, God knows, you know, and then this massive amount of pain would come in my nose, and so I, then I called it God knows, like N-O-S-E, right, it's just a massive amount of pressure all throughout my brain, right, then I look at, I take my, my cell phone, like, it's been going, but it was going on for quite some time, uh, and, um, and I start, and I looked at, uh, and I pressed like, uh, I look, start looking at some of these features that I hadn't seen before on my, on my cell phone, right? And uh, it looks like it, it, it was keeping a record of all the calls that uh, I had coming in from various people, and that I had left that, that I, that I had, uh, <clears throat> that I had called out for, uh, to other people, right? Like dog calls. And there's a massive list of them, right? There's information that, that was there on my cell phone, I guess, right? So, 
and uh, the, my messages was clear, but I didn't see this one where it just had a list of like massive list of all the calls that I made throughout the past like year, right? So, uh, so I started erasing them. It's like erase, delete, delete, delete all dialed calls, right? I hit that and I started deleting each and every message and all the pressure just boom, just went away. Uh, with, with each and every message that I, that I deleted on my cell phone, like the pressure went away that was in my head. Like, and it is, and it was definitely correlated to the information that I saved on my cell phone. Now, um, the claim here by, um, the claim here by Hank is that, uh, cell phones do not cause cancer. He, um, and, uh, this is for his show, Psy, right? He doesn't leave any hyperlinks below. Uh, he, he's just like, um, he, he makes this broad statement, um, about studies showing they do not cause cancer right and uh he doesn't he doesn't reference like what studies they were or who financed those studies but um i'm just going to surmise that the studies were financed by the telecommunication giants and the telecommunication companies that that is an oligopoly an oligopoly is five or less companies right if there is information out there for the human uh, species that um, that was widespread that uh, it does cause cancer, well, they would want to hide that information. Um, there was negative side effects to Vioxx, and Vioxx was approved and used and uh, for arthritic pain, and people were dying from it. So it's not like these, this sort of thing just can't happen where we have like, um, studies done. Vioxx is awesome and only awesome and that's it. And it get, and, and people start using it and then it winds up being toxic. This, these sorts of things do happen, right? And you, the, where you got companies, right? That if it was found out, this would be like if it was found out, right? The telecommunication giants, they would just face this massive, massive lawsuit. Massive lawsuit for like the injuries done to the human body. So it, it's easier to hush things up rather than pay that lawsuit, right? And um, come up with bogus studies that really don't uh, look into anything at all, but are manufactured to come out with a certain outcome. Right. So, um, uh, Hank, you, uh, when you make that kind of a statement, right, it's, it was quite a blanket statement that you made. And, um, uh, you, you've, you've taken on sort of like a Jesus figure sort of because you're just that charismatic. Well, you, you are, I'm not, you are, you're, you are, that's, that's one of the reasons why you're so popular. But, um, I mean, it looks to me like uh, I I fall I fell in disfavor with something John had said about Syria too. It seems like he was promoting military action in Syria. I mean, it it was really. Um, he said, "I'm going to teach all of you today a lesson about Syria." Was his episode that he had, and then it it, it appeared to me that he tilted things to. Uh, a, a certain direction whereby he would want everyone to start like backing up uh, kinetic military action and that kind of thing in Syria by saying um, like uh, the, the 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 king there is such a rotten guy and all that. Um, okay, so. Uh, the fact of the matter is, right, that, I mean, okay, that, that might, it, it's still, I, and I watched it a, like a second and a third time, John doing this, and it seemed precisely like that was the case whatsoever. Um, uh, the edge from U2 is still alive, but there, um, Hank, um, you know my thoughts. And, um, 
I don't know. John John says he loves Jesus, and and he he did an episode about Jesus, and as if Jesus was fully in existence, and there's no debate about it. Like historically, when the only thing we have to go on with about the Jesus story is the Bible and the Bible alone, right? Uh, and then in the story in the Bible, oh, no body? What are you crazy? Or historical evidence like a, a body of Jesus Christ? And, oh, he just he. He uh he disappeared. Yeah, they uh they uh he ascended into heaven. Not not just his spirit and his soul, but his whole body. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. You know? uh, there's there's no there's there's and so he did a like that was on his history course thing. I mean he's he's like enraptured in the Jesus story. He can't break free from it. I suppose like despite being seemingly rational and everything else, right? Um. He demands no historical evidence, really, uh, with regard to that one, the Jesus story. So he, he's a he's a Jesus sort of a guy, right? Went to divinity school and that kind of thing, right? Well, um, so what I'm telling you is Jesus should love the truth, and um, I I I know from personal experience that. Um, I don't know if you would say it's cancer causing, but this is extremely damaging. Can be extremely damaging to people's health. Cell phone microwave radiations. I don't um I don't speak for the telecommunications industry. I don't you won't find any sprint commercials around here like um from AdSense or anything like that or 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 uh Motorola or anything like that. But um yeah, this uh, I know that it's damaging to people's health, and um, what I think it has to deal with, like from I, I'm not I'm not all that knowledgeable scientifically about the situation. I have to learn more about it. Um, I'm what is referred to as electromagnetic sensitive, I I I, I guess is what you would say, and um, people with like um I think people with heavy metals in their body with a high level of heavy metals in their body. Are more apt to be this because metals um, conduct uh, currents and all that, you know. So, and I and I I had like depleted uranium in my body from prop most likely from the Persian Gulf War, polonium two ten from that's being that's in every cigarette that uh, people smoke that isn't an organic cigarette. Because the phosphate fertilizer uh, somehow gets polonium two hundred and ten into the into the tobacco leaf, um, you can choose like um, or, organic cigarettes that really don't have that. And uh, like all this heavy metal toxicity, which added to the problem, I, I, I assume. But uh, that pressure. It was not my imagination, Hank, within my, and it was very damaging to me. I don't know, it might have killed a lot of brain cells and that sort of thing as well. So uh, you can make up your jokes there on that one. But you, like, everyone's giving you, like, a thumbs up as if you're at some sort of, like, you're taking on, like, sort of like a Jesus figure kind of thing where everyone's just giving you the thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And um, nobody's questioning you, you on, on some of this information that you had. And I believe that's danger. And um, people should question you on this video. I-D-T-I-M-W-Y-T-I-M radiation. Now, everyone knows my thoughts for some reason, though all of you deny it. But I know that all of you do know my thoughts. And... Um, Turns out, like, now you, you, none of you really like me that much, but you know what? Uh, this guy is probably giving you the information that would be extremely harmful to your health. So uh, avoid the charisma sort of thing and, and the feeling that he's like your best friend because he does not know who you are, really. Um, and, and question some of these things that he says. Uh, he should, if he's making that sort of statement, he should probably leave some links below to um, to verify, like um, what he's saying. And I imagine you'll see that those studies were 
were funded by the telecommunication giants themselves. Um, from what I understand, it isn't really the microwave radiation in and of itself that's, that's harmful. And there's like a vast amount of different frequencies that your cell phone uses. Some of them can be, might be harmful. Some of them might not. But, it, but, um, it's the information coupled, it's the information that's carried on the waves and the coupling of those things together that are of extreme toxicity. So, you all have to start questioning, um, this, this family. And, um, if they're wrong, if Hank, Hank, if you're wrong on this, you, you have to, you have to do another video explaining yourself further. That's, that's if you actually, like, your brother really uh, loved Jesus that much. You're, you're the ones that talk about, Je uh, John, you're, you're the ones that talk about Jesus, not me, so... You're the ones that have to be held to these standards. Have a nice day.